The Network Effects Map is a tool for you founders to dissect and navigate different network effects and defensibilities as you build your companies. We've seen that there are four core defensibilities left in the digital age. Network effects, embedding, scale, and brand. Network effects is the greatest of these, accounting for approximately 70% of all value created in technology since the internet became a thing in 94. Within network effects, right now we count 13 different types, each with its own playbook. We start in the middle of the map with the strongest network effects and then we move out. The blue network effects are what we call direct network effects where each new user adds value to every other user. Physical is at the center, think of Comcast or AT&T with actually physical nodes in the network. Protocol is next, think of Bitcoin or Ethernet or fax. Personal utility is next, where you actually get utility from the network. These are things like Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. Then there's personal network effects, which is more like Facebook or Twitter. Then you look at market networks, things like HoneyBook or AngelList, where people are there adding value to each other for the purpose of transactions. Then we get into the two-sided network effects, which are red on the map. First we have marketplace, simple two-sided marketplaces like eBay or Craigslist. Then we have two-sided platform network effects. Think of operating systems like Microsoft OS or iOS. Then we move into two-sided asymptotic marketplaces where the value doesn't grow as much over time and think of an Uber or a Lyft. We move into the orange area, that's data network effects, and there's many different types of data network effects. Further out, we get to what we call tech performance. Think of a BitTorrent or a Skype, where the more nodes on the network, the faster the network moves. Then when we get to the outer rim, those yellows, we're looking at social network effects, which are the least powerful, but still very interesting. Language network effects, for instance, using the word Google as a verb or Uber as a noun. Then you've got bandwagon effects. Think of Apple getting us to not want to be left out and use their products. And then belief. Think of something like Bitcoin or religion or gold, where the more of us believe in it, the more value for everyone. This map is constantly evolving as we are students of network effects and constantly learning more about each of them and about the different playbooks.